Yeah. This is CJ at Gittleson Jewelers. It's been an anchor on the skyway level of the North Star <laughs> Center since 1985. And confounding shoppers who seem not to notice that the door is an any, not an Audi, so to speak. Push, not pull. <laughs> push. For nearly that long. <laughs> the shop, which is celebrating its 34th anniversary, is all Gene okay. Gittleson. His business model is treating everybody like a friend, even when there isn't a camera present. Gene greets everybody who walks in as though he missed seeing them. He's a very sweet man, but that's not why I bought my wedding ring here. Gittleson Jewelers just happened to have the only wedding ring I liked after I looked all over the metro. A photo of me wearing that ring once graced the wall. Even though I have never had Kirby Puckett money or Puck's hat, a gift the late baseball Hall of Famer gave to Gene's son, Michael. Michael is um, uh, vice president of Gettleson Jewelers. And Molly Braun is the general manager. And somehow, they managed not to strangle each other five days a week in this 295 square foot space that seems to grow smaller the more customers there are. I wondered how doing business today is different from when Gene opened 34 years ago. Well, I think it's changed immensely. There is actually more people coming through the Skyway now. They're more educated on what they want. They like to see the merchandise. I've spread out here with beautiful cabinets with fresh merchandise all the time. Has anybody ever proposed to you? Yes, they have. I've had three proposals in the store, and it was very interesting how they did it. Have you ever noticed that a customer has bought a little something for his girlfriend and his wife? Yes. <laughs> I sure have. This is like visiting your priest, though, isn't it? So, you know, the, all that stuff stays within the store? Nothing leaves the store here at all. <laughs> Very private. Do you really remove all the jewelry before you put up the black curtains at night? That's your job, isn't it, Michael? Correct, CJ. Yes, we do remove it all every night, make sure everything's clean, maintained, put away in the proper place so we can have it ready the next day, shining for our customers. <laughs> yes. How long does the ritual of removing all the jewelry every night take? So it usually takes me about 15 to about 18 minutes. How often do you have to come in here really late at night if you have a celebrity customer who doesn't want to be seen? Six, seven times maybe in, in the years. Drop some names for me. Right here Drop some names. Oh, Kirby oh, Puckett, oh, uh, Felicia Rashad, Amad Rashad. Dennis Green, Marie Green, I've had uh, Tom Kelly, I've had Tom Bernanski, I've had uh, Fred Hoybert, Troy Hudson, um, great people like Ahmad Rashad. I said that okay, right. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> how often do you see a little skirmishing oh, between yeah, these guys? Oh, yeah, so awesome. Like, not like that, today, I'm the peacemaker. No. I should peacemaker. put her in the middle. We like to have a good time. Yeah. We like to have a good time, that's for sure. There's no doubt. How often does he get on his nerves? No, it could be the other way around, though, just as much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it all works out, though. We all no. work out. Lord knows he gets on my nerves. Go, go, go over there and quit bothering me. Oh. <laughs> Act like, act like you're working. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to shoot some video, you guys. <laughs> but if it wasn't for this man right here, I wouldn't be here today. That's true. And I'm very fortunate with that. Very and fortunate. what would you do for a living if being a jeweler hadn't fallen into your lap by virtue of who your father is? Well, I'll tell you, I'd be doing some volunteer work for the community. I'd be giving back. I'd be helping others. And also doing some film work, too. I'd enjoy shooting film and telling stories. So. Weren't you an actor at one time? Actually, yeah, I did a little brief stint, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What made you come to your senses? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what did? It's a true story. It was, you know, it's a fun business, but, you know, I had family here, and I was very closely knit, tied to my family. And that brought me back home because I love my family, and I'm very passionate about this business, the jewelry business, helping others. When did you realize your dad was in the jewelry business? When he worked at Powers down at Knollwood Mall. Mm -hmm. And I had a babysitter walk me over there. And he put me up on the counter. I'm looking at all this bright jewelry. And I'm like, wow, what is all this stuff? And you know, he'd come home sometimes with jewelry. So I was at the age of probably about four or five that it really resonated with me. Oh, what accounts for your success at this location? 
just being nice to everybody that walks into our store. We like to make friends with our customers. We like to take such good care of them. Not only do they come back, they refer us. We get referrals every single day in the store. Did Prince ever shop here? Once in the store. Yes, he did. Three o'clock on a Sunday morning, he was here. I can say that. <laughs> and so, does, does, uh, did you, did you have some business with him outside the store? Yes. Okay. So you you would go to Paisley Park. Yes, I have okay. been three times. Okay. Did he give you a tour when you were there? <laughs> he didn't, but somebody did. <laughs>